filtering by URL in IronSpeed Designer. One of the Alphan As features is how to filter by URL certain show table page. For example, here we have a show orders table page and the URL at the top specifies customer equal ALFKI, the ID of the customer, the employee equal 4 and also the ID of the employee and a from date which is 10 10 1997. If you notice on this show orders table we also have the customer drop down, the employee drop down and the order date from and to filters that are available over here. How can we accomplish this? Let's first look at a demonstration of how this would work. We'll switch over to the Internet Explorer where we're looking at the show orders table and then we'll go through and type in the URL that we would want, say customer equal to ALFKI. And you will see that Iron Speed Designer application that was generated automatically limits this to only that particular customer. I can then further specify another thing, like for example, order date from and specify equal 10 10 1997. And in this case, I'll see only four items that are listed over here and the order date field is also initialized here appropriately to 10 10 1997 here. I can do the same thing now for the third parameter for example that I may want to specify where I can say employee equal to 4 and this limits it to only those employees. In this case the employee is Peacock because I've specified the value 4 over here. How can we accomplish this thing? Let's switch over to IronSpeed Designer. When we look at IronSpeed Designer you will notice that you are seeing the spreadsheet grid related to the, the show orders table over here. I've selected the show orders table and I'm now going to change to the filters area. So I'm going to zoom out and zoom back in into the filters area of the show orders table. In the filters area, I see a column for labels. I see the search and the filter controls over there and the go buttons that are listed over there. The filter that I have is a customer ID filter. And in this case, the customer ID is a drop down. And if I look down at the bottom, there is a formulas tab. And the formulas tab has in here one of the events that is included in the formulas tab is initialize when displaying. And what would I like that to be initialized? In this case, I have selected a function called URL and specify the URL value, which is customers over here. I can select other functions that are available. For example, I can go through here and instead of selecting the URL function, which is I selected by right mouse clicking and selecting the functions environment URL, I could have retrieved this value from a session or a cookie as an example. And of course, I had other functions that are available to me in other sections. In this case, I wanted to limit it to the customer URL parameter. I've done the exact same thing by specifying the employee ID filter and also selecting the same initialize when event displaying event and specified in this case the URL value for employee. For the order date from filter, exa again exactly the same thing. In this particular case the order date from is a text field not a drop down. But my formula for initialize when displaying is exactly the same. It is still URL and then the parameter that I'm using. And I've done exactly the same thing for the order date to filter where I've specified initialize when displaying order date to. You will notice that this is all the customization that I needed to do in order to essentially support filtering by URL values. As long as I have a filter on the page, I can then go in on the formulas tab and specify a formula to initialize any of those filter values to the values from the URL or a session or a cookie or for that matter for any other from any other source over here. I did not need to modify the query for the show table page. All I needed to do was initialize the filter in order to do that. Now obviously you can also take this URL, the fully specified URL that is available to me here and put this into a menu, for example. That's exactly one of the things that I did when I went back to the Iron Speed Designer, brought up the menu wizard, and then specified a new URL, a new menu item under the OS called Special Orders, 
and I specified a detailed URL which initialize it to the URL being orders slash show orders table dot ASPX customer equal ALFKI and so on. So I could save this URL as a link inside of a menu or I could show this URL at another location over here. So then when I go back to the orders area I can then essentially select special orders and it will be pre-filtered to the URL that I specified over there. So that is how easy it is for you to specify how you can filter by a URL parameter.